Hello, good afternoon. Um, my name is Paula Jamudelo, and um, I'll be taking you guys through what I call the project phase checklist. And this is just to get you designers uh, familiar with what you should expect and things you should do on your um, project phase. And for the project phase, like we've told you, you guys will be in various teams. You'll be, you'll be assigned to various teams or either be have to join various teams or most likely probably assigned to teams. So in these teams, you have your developers and then you have the designers, that is your front-end developers, the back-end and the designers. And majorly probably you guys will be working on web app and how to develop a web app and everything will have their own projects that they are working on and they have to, you know, come up with, with a particular uh, time frame. And majorly it's for you to deliver your MVP that is the most viable product or part of that product. That's what should be your focus during your project phase. And um, relating to that, for me, there's this checklist that so the first one is to join a team. So ensure you have a team. And once you're in a team, you meet your next you know your team members, get familiarized with them, know what each other does, and you know, just to get to know your what your team is about and all. And meant you know that then you guys among yourself, you would need to decide who will be your team lead. Now for every team, you will need a team lead, someone that that will be able to, you know, um carry on with carry the team along, help you guys achieve your goals. Now, aside having the team lead, you still also need to have assistant team lead. So best is to have an assistant team lead from the front end aspect and also the design aspect. So the design aspect would be the team lead for the designers and the team, while the the front end aspect will be the team lead for the developers the team so the two of them will be assisting the team lead and mind you the goal of everybody in the team is to achieve whatever your team accepts now the next after that is for you to know your team goal so whether you're developing for example let's say you want to develop a, a fashion hub where uh, users can come there to book tailors and then you know get their clothes on so that's what your team is, the, the web app your team is trying to produce. Now, you've known that. What's it, the next point for you to do is for you guys to set your deliverables. Now, you already know that, yes, you're building a fashion web app where users that need clothes to be sold come onto the platform to look for tailors that can sew for them. So your app is like a marketplace that connects those that need tailor services and those that can provide tailoring services to them. So you now need to think as designers and developers, what is the architecture, that's what we call um, architecture of your product. That is the main part of your product, how your product is like. Architecture of the product means, um, uh, how would I put it? How your building layout would be. What will lead to what in design, that's what we call our user flow, our user journey how the functionality will go about. Now, remember you have limited time, so you really need to focus on the most important part, that is your MVP. You need to be able to identify those MVP. For designers, you know, we have the whole research part and you think that, oh, you need three weeks to do research. No, you have limited time. Most time we have just one day to do your research, come up with everything, your pain point. So you need to strategize on how you want to do that. Now you have to make those lists. The easiest way to make you achieve this thing is itemize them down, have your list. You need to make those lists. When you're done with your list, then you know, oh, these are the things we intend to achieve. Now you guys are in the meeting, you are having your meetings and you are itemize what you need to achieve. Next point is to know, okay, who can do this? Who will be in charge of this? Who will be doing this? Now for the designers, you have this list of this is the concept you're coming with. You have different aspects. You have the authentication, which is the registration. Registration is also called authentication process. You have your dashboards, you have your settings and all those parts. So you need to divide the designs among yourself saying, okay, we'll be handling all our authentication 
designs, design for our dashboard. Now on your dashboard, you have different side bar. You can split it. I don't know how many designers have been in the team, so I can't tell uh, how many. So, but let's assume you have 10 designers, just an example, you can split it all. This person is in charge of authentication and onboarding. This person is in charge of um, dashboard, setting page and this, and that person is in charge of message page, this and this and that. So you guys, and then you must have your landing page for everything you're designing, you're having your landing page. Somebody will be in charge of, oh, that person is the one in charge of designing the landing page, like that. Now, as a team lead, because you are the team lead, does not exempt you from doing work. Also, as a team lead, and as a, if you are the design lead, that is your day. You're part of one of the assistant team lead. The design lead, you're in charge of highlighting those design, assigning them to your team members, and also assigning to yourself. You're the design lead, but you also need to work. It's just you even do more work than your team members, and team members are also there to do work. So you guys are meant to work hand in hand, and also you guys are to mind who is doing what. And at the end of the day, you put your design together, ensure that it's in line with what you have set to achieve and it's in line with meeting up with your MVPs. And you also need to know that your developer, you guys need to work in what they call agile style. That is, as you're designing, your developers are implementing. You cannot wait till you design all you have before the developers can actually come on in to, before the developers can actually come on in to start implementing. So if you are done with one screen of um, login today, pass it on to the developers to start implementing. You need to pass it on to the developer to start implementing. And that's how it works because in this project, we only have three weeks. So you need to work in an agile staff. You need to work as they are designing, passing it on with developers. And also as a team lead of the design and the design members, you are to ensure that developers implement your designs to pixel so perfect that is when you look at the implementation and you look at your design you should not be able to tell the difference they should look alike that's how it might not be perfect but yes they should fit into the way you've designed that's it part of what makes your job complete as a designer you need to ensure that developers implement your design and when you're working in team you guys need to be respectful with each other because there's going to be a lot of back and uh, back and back and forth. You need to learn to communicate with each other because you're you're now working with different people, not just by yourself. So there's that part where you need to learn how to communicate as a team. The essence of the project thing is to project phase is to let you need learn how to work as a team, how to work with developers, how to handle pressure, how to be patient, and how to also work towards achieving your goals. So regardless of the diversity that you'll be facing, you guys can still compromise and work towards achieving your goal and in process of achieving this goal you guys need to have fun and all of that thing but yes part of the major purpose is work together conflicts will happen but ability to handle that conflict in such a way that it's not affecting your work is being patient with each other and communicating properly and when you communicate, communicate respectfully because you'll be working with people from various backgrounds, various tribe and all those things. So in as much as, yes, you have an opinion, respect each other's opinion and, you know, try as much as possible to work out your differences and work towards achieving your goal, which is the main thing. The moment you guys are respectful of each other, being able to communicate, work well with your team lead, have that team spirit, Trust me, you would be able to achieve what your team needs to achieve. And you face a lot of challenges because there'll be a time when you've done the implementation, everything works well. And time for presentation, you go south. You don't need to panic at that point. Just be calm and try to fix up. And um, like they say, knowledge is wasted. You are also working together to learn from each other. So what this designer knows, the other designer might not know. But in the course of working together, you guys get to learn from each other. There's no need for you to hide any knowledge. Just share your knowledge. It makes things easier. You discover that things you think you know, and because you're sharing knowledge, you realize that, oh, I don't even know this part, but I'm learning it because you guys are working towards sharing stuff together. So yes, I wish you guys work in your project phase, and I hope to see great teamwork. And yeah, we'll be mentoring some teams. So 
I'm hoping to see your teamwork, to see how you'll be able to pull off your project. And then, yeah, basically, that's it. I wish you guys luck and thank you very much for watching.